Good morning, boys and girls. It's Karen Lee for Karen Reads, coming to you from my South Berwick living room. My book today is called The Cool Bean. One of my favorites that I've read. All right, it says, watch out. Here come the cool beans. The cool beans. Oh yeah, check out how they move. Look at the way they swagger. Notice their sunglasses, yow. The cool beans are known all over school, from house to house, across town, beyond county lines. In the olden days, last year, we were all one big pod of beans. We were a mixed bag, but somehow it worked. Yep, those were the good old days. And then we stopped seeing each other as much. That's just how it is sometimes. You spend less time together, even though you're not totally sure why. I watched as the beans I knew so well, the beans from my own pod, became the cool beans. Oh, they were so cool. One of them could play the guitar, cool. One of them could draw the best superheroes, cool. One of them could jump higher than any bean I'd ever known. Cool. Me? Well, I mostly stayed the same. Sure, I made some small changes. I wore sunglasses. I slicked my hair back. Too slick. I strutted around, ow, I swaggered, oof, he swaggered and he fell. I was still picked last for everything. My clothes never seemed to fit. I snorted when I laughed. I walked into stuff. I was an uncool bean for sure. I started thinking of myself as just a common bean with no special skills. I couldn't compete, so I didn't even try. I'd never be a cool bean. It seemed like there were two types of beans in the world. There were the cool beans and the beans like me. The days all blended together. I lived my life and things were just okay. I took tests and ate lunches and mostly kept to myself. The cool beans continued being cool. I mean, sure, I missed them a bit, but it's not like I was going to say anything. I felt like all that coolness had gotten in the way of our friendship. And that's how it went until one day I was
was in the cafeteria. I dropped my lunch on my loafers. Oh no, not again. But then something sort of miraculous happened. Out of nowhere, one of the cool beans helped me clean it up. He didn't see, even say anything. He just gave me a nod. That was it. Later, I was out on the playground. I tripped and scraped my knee and maybe cried a little bit and everybody saw it. Another one of the cool beans came to my side and without a word, he dusted me off. That, that afternoon, I was sitting in class. I wasn't really paying attention. I didn't notice, but our teacher had called on me. Everybody stared. I sat there in silence. Nobody said anything. And then, then, everybody just laughed at me. That was it. After today, I was officially a has-been bean. But then one of the cool beans stood up and came over to me. Everybody watched. She leaned in close and whispered, hey, the teacher asked you to read from page 32. Then she gave me a quick wink and went back to her seat. It was a small gesture, sure, but it was also everything. I walked home with a goofy smile on my face. I smiled all the way through dinner. That day made all the difference. It was a day that could have been really bad if not for the kindness of a few cool beans. It gave me a shred of confidence. That shred of confidence has continued to grow. Somebody had my back, or maybe a few somebodies, all the cool beans. After that, I started hanging out with the cool beans again. Not all the time, but sometimes. At lunch, after school, even on the weekends. Throughout all of this, I realized that it's not about how you look or any of that other silly stuff. It's about a wink or a nod or a smile at just the right moment. It's about dusting somebody off, helping them up again, and pointing them in the right direction. You need a hand? Yes, please. Now that's cool. Now he is helping someone. Okay, I forgot to tell you about the author and the illustrator. The author is Jory John, who's written a bunch of books that have won a lot of awards. Some of his other titles are The Good Egg, The Bad Seed, Good Night Already, That's What Dinosaurs Do, and so on. The illustrator is Pete Oswald, and he and Jory John have gotten together on other books. They did The Good Egg and The Bad Seed together, and Pete has done um, a lot of books, plus he's 
works in Los Angeles as an animator. Okay. Take care and have a good week. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.